this video is way overdue uh, and I had no idea until just recently I bumped on a media in a news about Princess Bairi Kitiaba Thai princess from princess from Thailand started about for me about two months ago and um, then when I look uh, closer to it which I didn't even want because of some really extremely unpleasant issues rather I encounter when browsing those pictures uh, they would just push me away basically it would not even allow me to look into to 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 look into the matter basically <clears throat> and because of which I was uh, accused of racial discrimination in 1999 like ultimate racial discrimination in the United States of America uh, by minority groups called by all the people that suggested at the beginning that this is just uh, they shouldn't be doing this kind of stuff uh, talking about American Democrats but they would just a little bit borrow me and this and that of course it was the whole thing was a lie MK Ultra in my case really was a death sentence this is a 30 years of my life that took away from me this is the 30 year now I'm doing it started under the Bill Clinton <clears throat> in 99 I was accused by uh, American minorities groups as the ultimate racist and I don't know and it had the last word that I had and judgment against me was a racism against a Thai royal family and this is already something I have written about yesterday uh, you see in world of MKUltra you don't actually have even the right to <clears throat> this isn't about having the right to attorney or you don't actually have any kind of rights rights of any kind uh, it's but basically like this exactly as I have written down here uh, and the story is even much much worse than what I anticipated yesterday when I found another picture today browsing the pine interest pine interest uh, I discover a very interesting picture which took me all the way in time back in time and have opened to me horizon also more to uh, the world of uh, let's say Bill Clinton American President Bill Clinton who started this butchery I told you I will no longer refer to this MK Ultra who started this butchery with or through the use of MK Ultra this was a this is a case of a butchery this is no MK Ultra it's no MK Ultra of any kind this is a regular butchery and let me tell you he's not the only butcher in his family his wife Hillary Clinton maybe is even worse I don't actually know which one of this is more crazy the facts about the royal tile family concerning racial discrimination are such that beginning the 95 within like six months down MK Ultra maybe 96 I don't think so not six months but maybe as soon as they started to congregate here inside of this house because MK Ultra went on already when I was on the ship aboard a cruise line Meridian 
It was British royals, Prince Charles and Prince Andrew, who had me hijacked all over the Europe, all over the world, distributed to their variety of countries, with very often present Slovenian police. The reality was such that in 1995, there was nothing other than beatings in Thailand. There was no other than beatings in Thailand in 1996. There was no beatings in Thailand other, other than beatings in 1997. There was none other than beatings, torture. And the torture went on with a full authorization of this individual here, Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton was the man whom I always have met in a total state of chaos, total state of confusion, dementia, beatings. He was the king, the lord of violence with his wife, Hillary Clinton. They loved, embraced nothing more than pain and suffering. So I know for a fact, because it probably was year 97, maybe it was year 96, I don't know when she left to university, to the United Kingdom. Was it 96 or 97? Probably was 97, three years down the road, when brought to Thailand, where I went as a groom with a sole idea to marry, not what you see, this girl here, uh, but you, you could even say maybe the half woman of what she became, you know, holding that key or whatever she holds, this is what I was told that, um, you know, that she is uh, yet my owner. And then when I look a little closer, that stuff is, looks like a little hard and so on. Uh, this girl is what I wanted to have as a bride. And the beatings, the torture that went on, I was well aware of her grandfather doing it, well aware of his father doing it, well aware of her family doing it, on behalf of the grandfather Bumibol, who claims that something is mentally wrong with me. As a matter of fact, that they have to make sure that I am normal. This guy here that you see. I never mentioned uh, Aunt Uboltrana because Aunt Uboltrana was um, she could get any man anytime. Um, she twisted me around her little finger. Um, I probably issued her maybe God knows how many martial proposals. She was even worse than uh, her sister. Well, you know, the sisters were good looking. Or let's say half sisters, it doesn't matter. Uh Sirin Horn Chulap Horn. Uh sorry, I've never mentioned uh this lady here, and I hope that I did mention the proper name, that I stated the proper name when I did this post yesterday. I did. 
use this is uh, this one here um this one here this was a heartbreaker this one got marital proposals from almost american every american diplomat uh that walked inside of that thai uh and palace she collected uh, marital proposals like you know everybody courted her uh so i did too um this one was actually better you have not even seen when she was young she was so good looking uh and her sister Obertrana also was extremely good looking it was a house of trouble but still once they destined me destined me to this girl here to become her husband i refrained myself from this beautiful woman in thailand and endured beatings so that i could become her groom 1995 30 years ago she was about she was already legal age this was already you're talking about when it comes to this picture here um she was completely legal age she was like 19 years old maybe 18 years old for sure 100 percent 18 years old uh and because it was only violence that went on on this picture god knows she's probably even 14 on this picture don't don't make me don't understand me wrong in this picture she's 14 and what i'm about to tell you she was already 18 at least 18 probably even 19 when it was for the last time like after three years of beating sorry uh i would get into the palace and there was been nothing but beatings nothing but shit that went on with thai royals using a masks even of by a kitty upper uh, what kind of a masks this is a, this is a lunatic this is the guy who slept with probably more than 1000 women in thailand he was a frequent visitor of uh, upper scale spas but his son king maha of thailand would wake up at 12 o'clock afternoon inside of the jail next to women inside of the prison cells where british royals alone such as king charles and prince andrew would commute till 99 actually 97 it was a scandal they had to stop but they would still find their way even up to 99 but this one here couldn't stop he still would get his way and was warned by his father boomy ball in 2012 that will destroy one if he get one one more time inside of this thai jail talking about the female jail these are ultimate losers i have never seen losers as this in my lifetime it's a garbage you get more ethic you get more personality you get more out of the person you meet on the side of the road homeless person easily somebody they call whatever you get much more character you get much more in from this year alcoholic womanizer trash and so it was in 90 probably 97 if not in 98 before she left to united kingdom i don't know to university i told her pick the fucking luggage we are living from here i told her i'm telling you this the last time i was asking her i was begging her to pick up her luggage and go because i no longer can take 
And she was watching me suffering for three years inside of this chaotic, crazy, insane home where especially Father Bumiball used to yell, scream like insane. Something similar to my father, but my father was worse. I didn't like this kind of chaotic environment. I didn't like coming to Thailand where I was only going basically to get her, to marry her. I didn't want to be in Thailand. I just wanted to pick her up and leave with her. I think she liked me. I think that she did like me because um, it was difficult for her. I think it was difficult for her. Uh, but this was like, like on the strings of her parents. Parents had her like on the strings, like you move a doll. And you basically do with the doll whatever, whatever you want, you know. No, not this kind of, uh, you know, the mask like this here that you see, they would be using because earlier I started something and I did not finish during the beatings. The Thai royal family would use uh, masks like this here, like this. Uh, but instead of holding one in the hand, they would have uh, like a stick. Now, uh, let me demonstrate you exactly so that you will understand what precisely I'm talking about. Head like this, yes. Uh, and they would not hold this in hand. Uh, but they would have it like this on the stick. Like this on the stick, yes. And uh, the hand, they would hold it like this, like this. Uh, well, you know, in this area, like this, this is where they would hold this. And they would be masked and they would place this over their face. And they had a mask of Bairi Kiti Apa. Her aunts, they did bad stuff. They hit me. I was drugged up. They hit me with that mask and the only thing that it would be it would disappear you know it would hit you and go away and you would get to see your surroundings basically so just like a nasty 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 way which at the beginning you know you get to understand what's going on but if you have a difficulties mental difficulties you will not understand what exactly went on you know uh, later on, they gave me a clue with also by holding masks. So this was maybe I could even consider it as a test. This is a sort of mental test to see whether you have maybe even a capacity to understand what went on. And so it was that I told her that I don't want to come anymore to Thailand. And I'm asking her to pick up the luggage because I started to insist her that we need to leave. I was asking if she wants to be with me or not. I continue to ask her on many sessions whether she wants to be with me or she doesn't want to be with me. So I told her if you want to be with me, you have to pick your luggage and go. I have enough of this already. So her mother came up with a picture that she found, like like this here, you know, just like this here, you know, like now, um, you see that, you see where it is, like, looks like a mother is protecting the daughter, and that probably was the case. That's why I still li love this little eyes right there. This is the reason why I am a little bit attached to her a lot, actually. Uh, it's actually why I, I will continue to to stay attached to her. This is this is what keeps me attached to her. Um, my mom did too. Oftentimes step in front of the father so he wouldn't kill me. 
So I know the feeling. I know what the chaos is. I know what the violence is. And I think um, all through this picture might not even be meant like that or whatever. Um, her mother used this picture to suggest me that in my face that to the such a retarded man uh, no way to this man maybe even evil man evil man whatever I was she will not give me her daughter uh, to take her away that she will not allow it was like the father wanted or whatever but it was the mother that intervened on behalf of the daughter that to the man like myself uh, she will not give her daughter no way and yes I was called all kinds of stuff and uh, retarded and evil and anything you possibly can imagine and oh no my daughter not yeah my daughter not for me it was bad for me uh, a god of chaos Bill Clinton whom I started to pressure on coming to Thailand to get nothing other than beating and my bright to be uh, unwilling to you know to give me a sex basically to be with me like in a normal way the only thing I get is to be basically drugged up and beaten up and she also is unwilling to leave Thailand I, I started to pressure him to leave Thailand basically that uh, and this was the man that's why I said that this was the man of this is this is this is no never was and never this will never be a president he was for a long time I consider him as the best president of the US in fact because he stopped the bloodshed of the Balkans Serbian bloodshed but the thing is that this individual is a violent thug that enjoyed nothing more than pain and suffering he watched me being beaten up he watched me being tortured tormented on the side they watched these things they enjoyed this they pleasured themselves in it they took pride in it and uh, from that moment on I can tell you uh, for this picture um, her mother found a uh, have had me have her specially prepared haircut just the way you see it because this was the picture should they give me the picture to evaluate which one you like which one you don't like and what is it you like on the picture on this picture and what is it you don't like on that picture so this is a picture when she was probably 14 years old and the haircut is like this whole thing is like fucking no way man my type you know uh, the mom would be okay but the daughter would definitely not be my type okay now when she was 17 years old 18 years old this was a very very pretty girl you're talking about you're talking about the bride that uh, I mean there was a reason why I wanted to go to Thailand you know why I didn't mind MK Ultra in Thailand even that the beating went on I knew that it was a grandfather I know it was a father I knew that I knew that I had to be patient even if I get with a stick that I had to be patient uh, and hold on to it it was a little bit different when the lady started to whip me I didn't like that part uh, but I just knew that to get her I have to keep my mouth shut that's how pretty she was so this was a pretty girl enough pretty for me to take the beating you know and keep silent which was uh, in 1997 yeah it happened in 1997 when I sent everybody to hell with exactly this picture here um, I asked Bayri Kitiaba I said to her listen pick up your luggage okay pick up your luggage and it was her father Maha that was fucking around with this this was three years down the road in 97 
I told her, pick up your luggage. I am leaving from here, I told her. I will not be back anymore. Uh, if you don't go with me now, you are never going to see me again, I told her. You understand? So if you want to be with me, pick up your stuff and go with me now. And she left to the father again. Um, she said that she had enough of this stuff, that she no longer could watch this beating. And what are we going to do? So I told her what we are going to do. I was on a, on a brink of the nervous breakdown. Basically, I was going to start to yell and scream at them uh, to, to stop this, to actually give me the daughter and to fuck off and stuff like this already. Because this was three years down the beatings already. I had enough, you know. I was really a crazy groom because I put up with this bullshit just to have her. So she was playing with me, you know, and maybe she was not playing with me. And this is what I see as a big problem in her. I see this as a big problem in her because I feel that in, within this 30 years, not in a certain way. In many ways it did. She did go on her own. She started her own life. She wanted to have her own life and stuff. So I know there is something that did happen for better. Uh, but I'm afraid that, you know, this luggage situation uh, is still there in her rear somewhere, sitting inside, and is just, she asked me, she said, but what are, how are we going to live? She came back, and she, she said, you know, I'm going to tell my father that I am living with you. Um... And she came back and she said, where are we going to go? Uh, and I told her, I told her, I don't care, I told her. Basically, in my mind was, basically, wherever you want to go, girl. Where you want to go to Europe, to our house, or you want to go to, to the U.S. You know, it's up to you. You make choice, which are where you want to go. Uh, I was naive like a child, basically, under the same character, you know. Uh, I told her, whichever way you want to go, um, we will go. You know, it's your preference, you know. So I think she said, so then it's going to be in, in Slovenia, that house. And I said, yes. And she said, I'm going to go and I'm going to prepare the luggage then. And you know what? This luggage never, ever... Uh, came together uh, it did came together uh, with her popping up on a picture with a haircut the way you, the way you see it right there this is like a haircut that I considered her like look like mentally retarded man that was like a haircut like the worst haircut I mean I mean it, it looks stupid I mean to put it plain and simple as a child, this is nice, it's beautiful, but as this beautiful bright to be of mine that, that I was beaten up so many times before, it looked totally different, you know? It looked like, I mean, geez, I mean, where, uh, I said to myself, the fuck, which way are we heading now, I mean, you know? And I said, you know what I said? Uh, and with a mother dressed like this, Exactly according to the picture they demonstrated me when she was 14 years old, or I don't know, 16 years old, whatever. Uh, not 16 here, not probably 14. And um, I got very upset. I got angry. I don't know what happened. Uh, she started to insult me mentally that I am mentally retarded. Uh, this man, not. I am not going to give you. Uh, I'm not going to give you, don't worry, I'm not going to give you to this man, this and that. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm not going to give you to this man. You know what I mean? So this, this, this is her mom, her mommy. These people uh, love circus. They loved drama with me. They just love these things. Uh, and it was somebody else that loved that kind of stuff. The upper elite, they, they find this dramas funny, 
more realistic than the stuff that you see on a TV. The last thing I remember from this picture, uh, by the way, my mother just came home and told me my father is not feeling well. Uh, the last from this picture, what I can tell you is, what they post in front of me, according to this picture, was, uh, how are we going to leave? And I remember, I told her, I'm going to get the job. I had some kind of jobs, whatever, I'm going to get the job. So just pick up the luggage and let's go. Well, then... After this picture did not appeal to me and I had enough and I read the whole thing as mentally retarded with what I no longer want to have anything to do with it uh, I basically declined to have anything to do with this stuff we had an argument I told them I no longer want to be brought in 97 to Thailand I don't want to have anything to do with them anymore uh, she came back to me on the picture and uh, told me just one more thing we don't need you we don't want to have anything with you either and this and that and so on and so forth and come back on a picture she climbs back on a picture and tells me <laughs> tells me just one more thing uh, it's just one more thing I need you she said to me she said uh, I, I need I need you for the education purposes. Yeah, we're just gonna use you for G, for the education <laughs> in, in in Europe. She already spoke English pretty well, uh, and we're just gonna use you for education in Europe. <laughs> and I was I, I was like, what the fuck? But the next thing you see me, I was in Europe. With her, her father, her sister, younger sister, too. Uh, actually, with with her and with the sister, with her younger sister, and um, uh, that's what I felt. You know that I can get back at them. Uh, it's like I said to myself, now it's my five minutes. Just watch it. You know you're gonna get everything you did to me. <laughs> In front of, I have no idea, British Royals, and the one I can never get out of my head was Angela Merkel. I totally, totally, for the first time, rejected them plain, straight in their face, with, don't want to have nothing to do with you anymore. We are finished with this, with that. And... It turned out it's uh, some kind of a racial motivated issue which British Germans alone, imagine Germans which 80 years ago wanted to exterminate entire Slovenian nation. Uh, Hitler wanted the ultimate solution for the Slavic people and had Slovenian people erased basically final solution plan was to just do that now i find myself in the thai family in front of the germans me being presented as a racist to them and them recording me as a racist and so on and so forth after i endured but three years of torture beatings basically so you know maybe this was 98 i have no idea uh, it couldn't be worse than what it was, and then they suggested how they got from the British special, uh, you know, treatment and so on for the education, university, this and that, from the Europeans, how they well assisted them. Then and the next thing I find myself was with her classmates, basically with, with those whom she attended the university with, and I should rather say basically boyfriends for which... Americans and everybody refer to as the one who went from a total innocence, like you see here in this picture, to 
to a multiple boyfriends, you know? Um, when I found myself in her settings, she was not by herself, but all of a sudden there were boys in the picture around her. So I definitely didn't want to have absolutely nothing to do with this anymore, with this, with this whole crap. In 99, however, I was known as the ultimate racist in the United States of America for discriminating uh, Thai family, meaning that the Thai royals, uh, both grandfather Bumibol and her father Maha, are racists. Uh, I think they became afraid of how the case actually turned. Uh, with people suggesting them their practice as a racial form of a very serious racial discrimination uh, rather than anything else. And to protect themselves, they have done something so disgusting. And during MK Ultra, I became labeled also as a racist against the Thai royal family with whom I no longer wanted to have anything to do with it. This girl, however, was really, really good at doing what she did, and she would always get me back somehow on a picture. And so I found myself and next to her boyfriend in the college and next to her boyfriend in 2002. She made um, a whole lot of what she alone referred to as mistakes for which she wanted to for which mistake she wanted to redeem herself uh, through her sister Syria uh, her sister Siri never was she was involved in something when she was like 15 years old. This innocent bird here that you see, she did something really bad to me when she was like 15 and I promised her I will retaliate against her and I don't know what. This is the second one when she grew up. Uh, and she told me, no, you will never be able to retaliate against me. You now she had a bodyguards and she did, she tortured basically. And she told me, you will never be able to retaliate against me. You know? Then I learned that she was only 15 at that time, you know, that this was actually a teenager and so on and so forth. You know? um, this is a beautiful girl, a really, really beautiful girl. All, both, both of them I deem are beautiful girls. Um, in this whole mess, I did have my share of problems that uh, Bairi Kitiaba inherited, I caused her problems too. You know, she she got she got fair share problems uh, for keeping around me too. She sticked around me. Um, She just sticked around me, she just sticked around me, she just sticked around me. You know, it's 30 years that went by. They say she is in a coma in Thailand. Her father, King Maha, started uh, in 2011 with, he had some kind of medical emergency with a heart problem too.
around which I demonstrated you a little earlier. Grew a little older in, uh, I have no idea what year was it, uh, but I, w I felt so insulted with the stuff they were doing. She, she always had me around the little finger, really. They all did, all these women did, and that was the time, I, maybe it was 2005, when all of a sudden I grew up and uh, I really started to abuse them in return on how ugly they are and I don't know what kind of stuff I stressed in their face and this one here for instance was so certain that she can do with me whatever she wants spin me around her little finger anytime she can get me she wants that's how she claimed uh, came up with a lot of stuff that became even evident inside of the public, in American public, that would easily classify her as evil and so on and so forth. Uh, in 2000, and it must have been, two, it, it was in 2000, there was a, when I was inside a psychiatric hospital in 2015 and 2013, became really, really abusive, uh, did all kinds of... Um, um, all kinds of stuff, did all kinds of stunts, even I remember her one time, I think it was like on a stadium or something like this, uh, and when I presented the proofs in 2019, uh, the only thing that happened was all of a sudden she was in a wheelchair, oh yeah, all of a sudden, all of a sudden she was in a wheelchair, all of a sudden she was finished, all of a sudden she's in a wheelchair, uh, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm finished, I'm dying, and now, I'm, now that's it, I'm done, I'm finished, I, I don't know what. Um, her father, Bumi Ball, uh, dis disappeared in 2016. Um, but you know, it was like, as soon as I got the MK Ultra proofs and so on together, uh, these people would start to disappear. We had literally Bairi Kitiapa now on uh, emergency support, kidneys, everything, life support basically, due to what they claim it was a vaccine COVID-19 that got her. Um, her father Maha claimed me, uh, brother of Chulaborn claimed me, well, we will disappear one by one, one by one, one by one, one by one, and you will have nobody you will be capable to sue, nobody you will be capable to uh, demand the money from. Uh, nobody that you will, I don't know what, and, you know, this is, this is the thing, you know, this is the thing, here is, this is the thing, I think that um, this sister here, um, Chulaborn, I think she did this stunts to, um, to make me look good, I think this girl actually loved me. She acted evil and so on, back and forth, but I think that she actually loved me. This is what I think. And um, I never had any intention to, to sue. Actually, I did. I was angry. I, I really became mad on a few issues. It really maddened me. Uh, I got really, really angry about it. 
um, in respect to the stuff that happened. It was a lot of stuff that, that was just totally, total bullshit. Never ever should have happened. But the thing is that, and especially because I'm not a German, and the Germans had a tremendously big impact on Princess Bayre Kitiaba's psychology. She spent a lot of time in Vienna and also in Germany. Uh, and, you know, got to know this German, uh, younger people and also politicians, the elite, and were the ones giving her advice, I think for the worst, I think that advice they were giving her were the kind of advice that, uh, you know, they, they basically wanted to see, uh, to make her see herself in something that uh, was not, that she never was part of it, you know. And um, I think to the great degree, Bayou Kitiaba have bitten that bait uh, and uh, did so maybe to, I don't know, to impress me, to, to learn about the culture, to which this is not our culture, uh, but maybe because I was so much into Germany, maybe that she started to, you know, that she wanted to learn as much as possible and, and you know, the whole thing was very confusing. Contrary to, to the Germany, I, I have no intentions absolutely to sue these people. Uh, absolutely not asking for any kind of money, for any kind of compensation from these people. Uh, I will not go after anybody for whatever they did, because I think what they did was, they did this on behalf of London, British, which they compensated in them. Uh, for the sake of the Berlin, Germany. Uh, basically, in a way, they had to do this. And they did this in more or less the same way, maybe more intense than elsewhere. Probably after Slovenia, Thailand was probably the one that tortured the most. I don't know. Uh, Serbia, uh, Belarus, that was a total insanity. Yeah, Thailand was just probably a country in Asia that tortured more than any other country. I'm going to put it this way. All right. Nothing really can compare with Slovenia and Belarus and Russia, Serbia. This is this is a this is a basically for itself. This is this is a story for itself. This is a different story. But in Asia, definitely Thailand was the one. Yeah. But the thing is that even that I'm not German. Even though they're not British, even though they're not Dutch. Any nation, any 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 member of nations that occupied Asia, that enslaved Asian people, murdered Asian people, starved them to death, forced them to use opium, turned them into slaves, cut their hands, I don't know what they did with them. Um, still I want to act like an Asian, and uh, we'll just let it go, because it, it involves these nations, these colonialists, imperialists, people who did this evil to the people in area of Thailand. Thailand was not, but in area of Thailand, countries were severely uh, destituted, destroyed, ruined by the British Empire, by the Dutch you know, by the Germans, they they colonized, they murdered people. So what I want to do is I would just prefer to see these people to grow better. There is a poverty in Thailand. It's poverty in the area, in Myanmar, in, in Cambodia, and all over. 
and it's you know I feel that this is this is not going to contribute to anything. Americans were eager to create problem. Americans claimed me wanted to learn about the Buddhism that Buddhism is actually not so good this and that and so on and so forth. But the, the thing about it is, this is not my problem. The thing about it is that I will do exactly what everybody should do during this MK Ultra. My mentality is that if you cannot help, then let it go. So in this case, the least, I will file the charges against Thailand, against the Thai king. Not even this I will do. Even that Thai king was trying to sicken with the money, even the Thai king was pushing forward how much he owes me and so on. He was with his own daughter, Bayoki that pushed me down the throat, this type of issues. I don't want to have nothing to do with it. I was brought there by Europeans, I was hijacked there by Bill Clinton, by George Bush, by Donald Trump, by Barack Obama. by Joe Biden for the sake of divide and conquer again for the sake of the hatred for the sake of the cracks they bred throughout the globe throughout the world and through which they through these micro cracks they create and they destroy divide nations people murder families so this is going to have to uh, wait for somebody else to do that kind of stuff. So a princess Shula born maybe should just uh, forget about any kind of responsibilities. She did this because she became evident. Uh, we had a big argument in 2005. My argument started in 2003 when I no longer really wanted to be anywhere in Thailand. Don't, didn't want to have anything to do with it. And these pe people would continue to pose during MK Ultra next to me as somebody that tried to help me and so on, and it didn't make any sense, really. Inside of this house a lot and so on. Uh, I did reject them also in this environment here in Slovenia and so on. So, Princess Bairikitiapa Here you can see her with a parrot for which she claimed me that parrot, that's me she is cogging and then she also came with a cute story that I'm a parrot and I'm just repeating myself and that's all there will be that she's just stealing me time and all kinds of stuff like this Well, the thing is that I'm a really good thief, time thief. I really, really, really succeeded in stealing time from myself. And uh, some way, somehow, also, I think from this princess, because there were so many guys that want her, so many guys courted her, and this parrot right there, she just could not let go. She just could not let go of this parrot. I know this story might sound like a little twisted. Uh, there is a thousand pictures that are nice related stuff and there is a thousand that are not so nice related stuff. The best for me will be to see in None anymore. Maybe when she is, if she is next to me, but I am going to stop searching for that. For those pictures. Uh, this here, this is really maybe the worst picture I came across. This one right here. This picture.
my mother keeps going inside, outside. It really demands me, but I don't have the time to record another video. So this is the one is going to go to the internet. Um, I guess that I am a good time thief too. And uh, this princess somehow who, according to her own words, did so many bad things to me that figure out the best would be for her sister to be on the picture, which she have really done none. Um, still, in my case, is going to be the one deciding about everything when it comes to Thailand. Um, this picture got me angry today a little earlier I got really really angry I'm thinking about the stuff about the luggage and this about the Bill Clinton Lord of uh, Chaos basically who always found the way to create even worse out of the bad or impossible to deal with. He always found, you know, he was always a nice person you would encounter in the middle of the hell. And I think that that, that, that explains everything because it repeated like a million occasions on God knows how many times like in a total hell is where you would meet Mr. Nice Bill Clinton. Also was the one who gave her one of too many advices with Hillary Clinton. Uh, and then brings us back to the picture with the Germans who knew absolutely everything about everything. And so the only thing I'm going to ask this girl is, if you feel that you are grown up enough in your head, because definitely you're grown up. You're now age 44. Uh, if you feel like you are enough mature, I should say, that you can make your own decisions. Let it be not with what you see right there, you know, because if I hate anything and uh, it was a tremendous problem I had with when it, come to, when it came to your family, when it came to your father, when it came especially to your grandfather, was yelling and screaming. It's exactly the type of atmosphere made me run to United States of America in 1995. Because, you know, Americans teach you and they teach everybody, try to be normal, be normal, you know, act normally act normal. This is not true. I was always only trying to run away, escape from insanity. I didn't like screaming. I didn't like physical violence. I didn't like domestic violence. In the end, what ended up with those that did that stuff to me, with me being locked inside of the psychiatric hospital, inside of the psychiatry. If you are strong enough, if you're mature enough to understand my words, what I stated to you, if you can, and when I say normal, this, what I mean under normal is just be yourself, not something that you're not, because nothing makes things worse than trying to be something that you're not. In the recent years, I have observed you being more yourself, more than ever before. 
I liked it in the recent years the way you the way you pursued pursued your life on your own is exactly how I want to spend my life. If you want, it, then it still can be 1995, 1996, and you're welcome to come. Um, now, if you feel that you do have to do little things that drive somebody insane, if you feel that you do feel that a psychiatry breaking my personal belongings, doing damage to me like Slovenian police, God forbid, assisted you with, then I think you'll be better off with your old love or new love or whatever love. That's all I have to say to you. Um, I was not the one who was a racist. The one who had a real problem who who was a racist who had racial problems in his head these are the king bumi ball and king maha it's what even british alone realized even british alone pinpointed out on a racial problem there and when you deal with another culture that is non-Western European, even I would say if you deal with the German, don't deal through the British. Or if you deal with the British, don't deal by using Germans to get to the person. Because in my case, in my personal case, I don't have anything to do with it. I don't have any connection with it other than what I stated that they tried to do eight years ago. Uh, these are probably not the people you want to take advice. These are the, probably not the people you want to follow, whose advice you want to follow. You have to be mature enough to make your own decisions. Rather than fall in a trap of some people that always wanted the best for you, always wanted the best for me and they managed to keep us apart for no less than 30 years thanks for watching this video till next time